for the Winatachi here, you know what it is. The Pokemon Shield and Sword gameplay is here, ready to showcase to you guys. Again, this is not my gameplay, but it was released and it is announced already out there on the interwebs. So let's get to it. Hi everyone, welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live 2019. My name is Teresa, and we're here to kick off to the first view of the live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. I'm here with our very, very special guest, uh, Mr. Masuda, who is the uh, game producer, uh, Mr. Amori, who is the game director, and they're accompanied by David from the Pokemon Company. Thank you very much. Um, they also have a little cameo appearances of Square Bunny, Gurky, and Sobble. They're oh. super, super cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also accompanied by Terry and uh, Bill, who just cartwheeled into our segment over here. <laughs> All right, so to kick things off, um, there was a, a lot of announcements from the Pokemon Direct last week, and then there was some more um, information that came out this morning. Um, Mr. Masuda, Mr. Mori, do you have anything to add to uh, those? バレット so we're really happy to finally be able to reveal one of the big features of the game uh, called Dynamax, as well as the legendary Pokemon. And I think that's really getting a lot of the fans out there excited for the games. Yeah, I, I'm actually really, really excited. I think we're going to get a sneak peek to that element. But Bill, do you have anything else to add? That's right. I think today was uh, anything you can share about what uh, we're going to be showing on Treehouse Live for everybody watching at home? Well, today's Treehouse Live, what is the purpose of the show? So, this is the first time I've been in the gym, and the leader of the gym is a little bit of 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 a little bit so in the direct, we just saw we revealed the water type gym and the gym challenge and the gym leader Nessa. But in today's Treehouse Live, I want to demonstrate via actual live gameplay the wild area as well as some max raid battle uh, gameplay. That's right. And the wild area is something that's brand new for the Pokemon games. We have not had an area like this. Can you maybe give people just a little bit of information about what it is? なんていうんですか so this is really kind of the first time that we've had such a huge wide open area in the Pokemon main series RPGs and you'll in the wild area you'll really find the widest variety of wild Pokemon out of any area in the games and it also changes the Pokemon you can encounter depending on the weather conditions and where you go and the time of day. あと、その街と街を繋いでるので、ま、冒険中にも何回もここに訪れることになります。あとちょっと見ていただいてわかる通り、カメラをこう自由に動かすことができるので、これによってま、落ちている wild area it spans across multiple towns. So your adventure will take you back to this uh, the wild area multiple times and as you can see on screen here, uh, you can control the camera freely in this area to better find hidden items that are lying about and also uh, see the Pokemon that are flying above in the sky. Well, yes, and it looks like we are seeing Pokemon out in the field here, correct? そうですね、ま、フィールドあの、ポケモンがちょっとうろうろしてるような感じには見えるんですけれども。そうですね。ああいったその so yeah, we have the Pokemon wandering about the field. We call them kind of symbol encounters, where you can see the Pokemon before you actually encounter it. But at the same time, you actually just saw an exclamation mark pop up in the tall grass there, and that kind of uh, symbolifies that it's a, uh, a random encounter, so you don't know which Pokemon you're going to encounter. We wanted to have a mixture of both types of encounters in these games to uh, also let play players enjoy that excitement of you know not knowing what they're going to encounter. 
Yeah, that's great. It looks like uh, we've got a lot of different types of Pokemon that appear out here in the wild area as well. So, the wild area, no, from field, the journey, could have some, you know, the shoe, no, Pokemon got the video on your name, yes, ne. Hi, so this, ne, eto, ima, just battle demo, mite, wakar to ori, eto, konkai wa, tan se no battle, te, ku, ni, na, te, ma, shite, ma, konkai no tan se no battle, de, eto, ma, jisai, ni, tada, ka, ta, ri, ball, o, na, ge, ta, ri, shite, tsuka, ma, er, ko, to, ga, de, ki, ma. Yeah, there's, de there's definitely a lot of Pokemon to encounter, and of course, as you can see here, the battle system, you know, it's the t traditional turn-based uh, battle where you choose moves to uh, defeat the wild Pokemon before you can catch it, or battle against it before you catch it. And you'll find that their you know, Pokemon abilities are back as well as the ability to give them items to hold, so there's definitely a lot of depth to the battle system. Yeah, certainly I think fans are going to look forward to, to the depth within that battle system and they'll be able to enjoy that both within the game as well as in their one-on-one -on -one battles as well. So, yeah, so you know, the sky battle system is going to be fun for fans. So, this is a regular Pokemon battle, but it's not just other players and other players can do it. So, this is a regular battle system. So, this is a regular battle battle system. So, this is a regular battle system. So, this is a regular battle battle system. Yeah, I definitely, you can have link battles with other players and of course I think there's a lot of fans out there that are looking forward to kind of this return of the really you know in-depth or the deep battle system that we have to you know really compete with each other. Uh, you can see it's actually raining right now uh, where we're wandering about and depending on the weather condition the kind of certain types of Pokemon will appear more frequently. Right now you'll, we'll see more water type Pokemon and maybe if it was snowing you would see more ice type Pokemon for example. And the climate's pretty dynamic, so if you come back a different day, the weather may be completely different. So we really think that players will have a lot of fun coming back multiple times and seeing the different Pokemon that appear depending on the weather conditions. So we were talking about uh, the different encounters, but it looks like Terry can also whistle to attract Pokemon, and different Pokemon have different reactions to when he does that. My encounter system and the はい。yeah, the whistle is kind of a key to encountering certain types of Pokemon. For example, if they're flying high above, you can't really, you know, encounter them very easily. So you have to attract their attention by whistling at them. But at the same time, you, like you said, they're kind of different Pokemon react differently. Then some might see you whistle and run away, for example, or others may be curious about you and approach you. Terry's doing a great job of battling and capturing Pokemon here in the wild area. <laughs> Just got my Metapod. <laughs> Expanding the party. That's right. <laughs> so I think for today's Treehouse Live segment, we're going to explore this part of the wild area as we kind of head closer to one of the towns in the game. Um, and that should give us a good sense of this, this one particular part of the wild area, but clearly there's a, a lot more to the wild area than even what we're showing here today. え、ま、yeah, this is just a small portion of the wild area. If you, I mean, if you wanted to walk really far out there, there's lots of stuff to discover, and it's you know it's much wider. There's a lot of available to discover. For example, much stronger Pokemon that you may want to go try and seek out. あと先ほどちょっとこう 
、まあ、ポケモンによっては、えー、プレイヤーを見つけると逃げてしまうポケモンもいますのでこうしゃがみながらこう近づくと気づかれずにエンカウントすることもできます、ね。Yeah, we actually just,、uh, I think Terry was showing the crouching down、uh, motion where you can kind of get into tall grass and quietly approach some of the more perhaps timid Pokemon, otherwise they might run away from you. We had talked about how when the weather changes, that specific Pokemon like, appear more often. So, like, right now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing, so there's a different variety. So, now it's hailing. And here we have Terry taunting <laughs> Trokes here. He's always picking my fights. He's always picking my fights. Now, of course, you can,、uh, oh. you can access the wild area from very early、はい、in the game, but as we see here, there are some rather strong Pokemon out there. I think there's a lot of Pokemon out there. I think there's a lot of Pokemon out there. Yeah, depending on where you go,、uh, there'll be some very high level Pokemon that you maybe can't take on, so you probably run away from this one. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Score bunny! It's very strong, man. I don't know. You got away. <laughs> <laughs> of course,、uh, one of the other things that we saw in one of the Nintendo Directs was that、um, to kind of help you navigate the wild area, we saw the return of the bicycle. そうですね、まあ、先ほども見たんですけれども、はい、あの自転車が今回まあ復活するという、はいえー、ことで、多分あの喜ばれるファンもいるんじゃないでしょうか。そうですね、まあ、やっぱり自転車はファンも結構多くいたりするんで、うん、今回、自転車に乗って、この広大なエリアを冒険することができます。Yeah, I think there are a lot of fans looking forward to the return of the bike, and it definitely helps you get around this wide area. で、えっと、先ほどちょっとこう、ビエをすると、まあ、ダッシュでこう。うんいきなりこう加速することもできたり、あとは今スムあの水上にそのまま乗れたと思うんですけど、まあ、スムーズにこう水上にも入れるんで、こうこういう広大なエリアをこうなんでしょうね自由にこう冒険することができるようになってます。Yeah, it really helps you get around the wild area very quickly. You can even、uh, hold down the B button to kind of get a little dash move going,、yeah. so you can get some extra speed. And as you saw, you can just kind of seamlessly transition to going above, you know, on the lake there, kind of just riding over the water. So it definitely helps you get around. This is definitely a bike I wish I had when I was younger. Definitely get you around quickly. And then, of course, we also see that there's、uh, you know, certain secrets out in the wild area for players to find. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you Yeah, every time you come back, you'll find like kind of hidden items in different spots in the wild area, so it's a lot of fun to walk around and discover them. And of course,、uh, activities to enjoy like fishing. Mato, Tsuri mo ima, just a Pokemon, just a Tsuri. So, 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 so Now, one other thing that we've noticed here on the left side is that we're seeing some icons、uh, pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. Now, the left side of the screen is that we're seeing some icons pop up on the left side of the screen. And you can actually have these,、uh, what we're calling stamps appear to kind of show what、uh, other players are up to. So, this is actually、uh, Masuda san playing right next to us.、Uh, he's playing the Gloria character there. But this, <laughs> this,、uh, this stamp is signifying that he wants to trade with us. ここまあ、ここ 
呼びかけることができます。So you can use these stamps to kind of invite people to battle, trade, or even、uh, try and get other players to join you in a max rate battle. <laughs> Gloria. これマスダさんです。This is actually Mr. Sasaki. He's, he's playing Gloria right now. <laughs> でワイルドエリアはえっ、ー、とまあいろいろなこうプレイヤーが違う目的を持って遊んでたりするんですけども、そういったえっ、ー、とプレイヤーがえっ、ー、と出会う場所でもありますね。So there's a lot of different、uh, reasons that players will come back to the wild area, but、um, you can kind of encounter them,、uh, other players, if you're connected、uh, in the wild area and see them in your game. ローカル通信であれば、えーとまあ、近くで遊んでいるプレイヤーがそのまま表示されますし、まあ、インターネット通信をすれば世界中のプレイヤーがこのワイトエリアで遊ぶ一緒に遊ぶことができます。And this works either via local wireless with other players that are nearby playing at the same time. You can also connect with,、uh, to the internet to kind of play with、uh, other players from around the world. That's right. And it looks like now Terry has、uh, gotten to the town that we were heading towards. Right, but there's some lights in the background, the, these red pillar of lights.、Um, could you guys explain what these are? I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. えー、光の柱みたいなものがあるんですけどもそれって何でしょうか、はいはい、そうですねあれはですねポケモンの巣でしてであの中に非常に強力な、えー、ダイマックスポケモンがいますそのまあパワーエネルギーがあって赤い光で出ていますね So those are actually what、uh, are called Pokemon dens and there's a red light emitting from them when there is a Dynamax Pokemon inside so the red light kind of represents the energy of the Dynamax when I'm not あの光のところに行くとマックスレイドバトルをチャレンジすることができます。And what that means for the player is that you can go there and encounter that Dynamax Pokemon in a max raid battle. Well, perhaps we should、uh, show what the max raid battle is like. そうですね。じゃあ早速じゃあマックスレイドバトルも、えー、そうですね。ちょっとやってみたいと思います。はい。All right. So as we're prepping up to Do said Max Ray Battle.、Uh, Mr. Mori, Mr. Masuda, could you explain a little bit more to the people watching at home about what the Dynamax feature is? So, the Dynamax is a little bit more than 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 a little bit これそうですね。えっとそうですね。えっとダイマックスレイドバトルなんですけれども、えの好きなえっとポケモンを一匹選んで戦うことができます。で今回はあのボックスからも一匹選べるので、そこから一匹選んでルカリオちょっと選んで戦ってみようと思います。And each player participating in the battle can choose one Pokemon. Uh, from either their party or from the box. So it's important to choose one of your you know, stronger Pokemon since you,、uh, before you go into the max raid battle. And you only get to choose one and you can't change during the battle, so you've got to make sure it's a good choice. So, strategy and communication is incredibly key here. Yes, communication is very important. 4人で戦うのでその役割分担と連携がすごい大事になってます。では、コーディネートの連携と、まあ、例えば、えっと、タイプ相性の強い、まあ、良い技を持っているポケモンが中心となって攻撃して、で戦況に合わせて補助技とか、まあ、回復技で味方をサポートするっていうのがすごい大事だと思います。So yeah, once you get into the battle, identifying maybe which of the four Pokemon will have the best type advantage to be the main attacker, and also like who can be the best kind of supporter or the Pokemon that will use healing moves to support the team. Yes, I'm I'm playing as Togekiss, so、uh, for my my first move, I've used、uh, this I've used Reflect to try to protect all of us a bit. そうですね。僕はあの Togekiss を、えーはい、使ってるんですけれども、今 Reflect を出してちょっとあのあチームを、えー、守ろうとしてます。はい。Thank you. こうするとみんながこう守備力が上がるんで、これによってこう攻撃が強かったとしても防げることがやってきます。That'll definitely help protect against some of these powerful attacks. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Right. So, I guess we should do roll call. I'm playing Ludicolo,、uh, Ludicolo so I'm actually、uh, just got hit. And as we can see here, Steelix is 
uh, doing multiple attacks. Is that fair? <laughs> ちょっと今ハガネールがの連続で、はいえー、技をいろいろ出してきたんですけれどもそれって結構不公平ですよねあそうですねあの、まあ、ダイワックスをしている、まあ、ポケモンは、えーとまあ、状況に合わせてやっぱり2回攻撃してきたりとかですねしますので、まあ、油断しないように戦ってほしいなと思います。So yeah, the, when you're going up against a Dynamax Pokemon, sometimes they will take multiple moves and so you really kind of can't let your guard down. じゃあジムはあのトムでウィンディ使ってるけどちょっとでかくなっていいですか。So I'm,、uh, I'm, oh, I'm actually the Tom character here playing Arcanine. Is it okay if I use Dynamax? Absolutely.、Oh, oh, I think we need all the help we can get. Yes. ぜひお願いします。Dynamax なんですけども、えっと各ターンえっとプレイヤーは一回しかまあえっとできないんですね。でプレイヤー側が順番に Dynamax 権利が回ってきます。でバトル中に。どのプレイヤーか、えー、と1人しか、まあ、1回しかダイマックスできないのでこのダイマックスするタイミングも非常に重要となっています。The ability to use Dynamax that actually rotates between the players each turn, but your team can only use Dynamax once throughout the entire battle, so it's important to kind of identify what the exact right timing is to be able to、uh, you know, exploit the, the, its power. So yeah, obviously a lot of strategy goes into these Dynamax raid battles. ダイマックス技を使うと,、えー、とその効果によって例えば今、えー、と炎の技を出したので日照りになりましたね。Yeah, and you can see that there are, once you Dynamax, the Pokemon's moves will all turn into max moves, which are much more powerful. And they also have these added effects, like you saw the、uh, drought was just triggered based off Arcanine's attack. Yeah, and they look really cool, too. Yeah, definitely,、uh, I think there's, it's very impressive. And as we can see,、uh, Steelix just put up a barrier around him. 今ちょっとなんかバリアを張ったみたいな感じになってるんですけどす、ねえっと、今、日照りになったのでソーラービームが一旦で出せましたねでこれもまた、えー、と連携のすごいいい連携だと思いますね,そうですねバリアの方はそうですね,ねでバリアなんですけども、えー、と今不思議なバリアというものがダイマックスに貼られてましてで今、ヒットポイントがこう減ってくると,、えー、とそういうバリアが登場します。So yeah, with the barrier, um... What happens is once his HP is reduced, it'll put up this kind of barrier that you have to take down before it will actually start taking lots of damage again. で、この今、ゲージが5つあるんですけど、ダメージを与えるごとに1つのゲージが減ってきます。で、えっと、攻撃力が低いポケモンでも、高いポケモンでも1ゲージずつ減っていくので、この時はもうどんなポケモンでも攻撃して、このバリアを壊していった方がいいですね。But you can see that there's a, a couple of different like、uh, parts to the gauge, and each time you hit it with a damaging attack, at least one of those will be reduced. So even if your Pokemon isn't particularly powerful in the attack department, it can still reduce the gauge by just using a damage. ダイマックス技だと 2, 2ゲージ減らすことができますね。うん Well, yes, as you can see, my,、uh, my Togekiss used Dazzling Gleam, which is not particularly effective,、うん、but was still good enough to, to break that barrier down. そうですね、今あの、そんなに威力の高い技を使わなかったんですけど、はいまあ、それでもゲージが減ったということです、ね、そうですね、うん、で攻撃力がないポケモンでもこういった場では活躍することができます。Yeah, it's a good opportunity for even the weaker Pokemon to、uh, you know, participate and really contribute to the fight. And Dynamax moves, if you use it against it, it'll actually take down two gauges, two, two slots of the gauge. まあ、ゲージを壊したんで、あとはもう本当に倒すだけですね。So yeah, you guys have broken down the barrier, so now you just need to defeat the Pokemon. <laughs> We're very close, but one thing that we haven't talked about is that storm that's kind of lurking around Steelix. Could you talk a little bit about that? It's a little bit of a storm, but it's a little bit of a storm. 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 Follow you, make sure you can cast the center of attention. Okay. Oh, for the day. Trying to be the team. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 o
So now all of us have a chance to actually catch this Steelix. And um, so by catching it, can we add them to our party? For the shorty, it's come out of chance to go out of this game. So if you want to use it, you can use it to get to the Pokemon. Yes, that's right. So if you want to use it, you can get to the Pokemon. If you want to use it, you can get to the Pokemon. So if you want to use it, you can get to it. So yeah, you can actually, uh, every player who participates in the battle are able to get a chance to catch it. But even if you don't catch the Pokemon, there's still a variety of rewards uh, for the players that participate uh, to get items and such that will help uh, be beneficial in their adventure. So it's definitely something that I hope players will be excited to play along with their friends, but also other players uh, from around the world. Yes, my, uh, my daughter has really gotten into Pokemon with Pokemon Let's Go, so uh -huh. I'm very excited to be able to do raid battles with her in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go EV, the Musume is very Pokemon Ski, so it's very exciting to be able to do a battle with her in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So I think, uh, Masuda-san, I think there was another topic that you wanted to touch on? まあ、あの、実機プレイヤーさんも以上になると思うんですけど、皆さんからお話ししたいことがあるっていうのは聞いたんですけども。そうですね。あの、ちょっと皆さんにお伝えしたいことがあります。えっと、ポケモンホームは
あの転送するっていうのができるんですね。そうですね。ホームを、えー、経由して連れてくることができます。That's right. Yeah, as long as they're in the Gallery Region Pokédex, you can transfer them from home. That's great. <笑> well, あ,あ、そうですね。あのもちろんですね。あの今作のまあスコードシールドガラル地方でもまだ見ぬ新ポケモンを含めてかなりのポケモンが出てきますし。ポケモンのボリューム、まあ、ゲームのボリュームとしてもかなりの、えー、と満足いただけるようになっています。<笑> Yeah, in the Galar region, you're going to find a lot of Pokemon, including a bunch of Pokemon that no one has discovered yet. So it, the games are definitely chock full of content. Galar Zukan will cancel the same number of people who are going to be able to do it. And it will be no small feat to complete the Galar region Pokedex, but I do hope that players will give their best to you know, try and catch them all in the, in the region. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to see how the story unfolds. I'm excited to see how the story unfolds. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to see how the story unfolds and to explore both the region and the wild area.、Um, but is there anything else that you want to add before we say goodbye and, and、uh, move on? もうあの非常に今回のまあゲームのストーリーとかワイルドエリアでの探索っていうのをたあの楽しみにしてるんですけれども、まあ、あのちょっと最後にお二人からあの視聴者に向けての何かお言葉ありますでしょうかそうですねあの先ほどあのマックスレードバトルを4人でやりましたけども、うんうん、あのやっぱりやっていてなんか楽しいんですよね。ちょっとあのー、なんですかね。今までのポケモンの中ではあのなかった新しいシステムになってますんで、やっぱりこう4人でワイワイ楽しくあのー、友達と一緒に遊べるっていう仕組みはすごいあのー、皆さんにぜひ体験してもらいたいなと思ってます。Yeah, for me, it definitely is the max raid battles we just showed off. Playing together with your friends and this kind of cooperative、uh, battle feature that we've never had in the Pokemon series before is really just a lot of fun. I hope.、Uh, Fans of the, of the series will look forward to being able to try that for the first time. So, this is a wild area t h e r you know, play at the show, you can't get started. So, 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 you can't get started. And even other than the max raid battles, we of course have all the traditional you know, multiplayer features where you can trade and battle with other players either nearby with the local wireless or to connect with other player, trainers from around the world using the,、uh, uh, connecting via the internet. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us today.、Uh, thank you all for watching.、Um, what we're going to do is as we get ready for our next segment here on Nintendo Treehouse Live, we are going to go down to our Luigi's Mansion booth. And give you all a sneak peek at what people are going to experience here on the show floor.、Uh, it's a very, very special booth.、Uh, so take a quick look at that, and then we will come back in just a few minutes for our very next segment, which I think a lot of people、uh, will be looking forward to very much. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Catch you guys next time. Stay tuned for Pokemon Shield and Sword gameplay on the channel of youtube.com slash for the w i n n i t a c h i p l a y s Peace out. Have a wonderful day.